Hey Steam Deck fans, I'm your old pal Blaze. Great news because because of a leak, we are now able to inject FSR4, AMD's new upscaling technology, into games on the Steam Deck. And it is a huge visual improvement over FSR3. How is it going to impact the Steam Deck? How is it going to impact your games? Will games run better? Will they be more playable? We're going to talk about that in this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon. Check the links down below in the video description for the best Steam Deck accessories. Let's get into the news and talk about Steam Deck. So this article comes courtesy of Noah Kopetsky over at Steam Deck HQ. We're going to talk about it. We're going to read people's comments on this. There's also a great video from Steam Deck HQ over on YouTube, which I'll put the link to in the video description to where you can find out how to install this. It'll walk you through how to get this working. But in the meantime, let's talk about it and what this means. So grab yourself a beverage. Let's read the article together. So when it comes to playing games on the Steam Deck, there are some great tools that can help us push the visuals and the frame rate to be more playable. And a lot of times this means turning down graphical settings, but on more demanding games, we need to use upscalers. And these tools make the game run at a lower resolution and use an algorithm to upscale it, making it seem like it's running at a higher resolution when it isn't. Upscaler have come a long way on the Steam Deck. There are three that are mainly used, XCSS, which I believe is Intel's, TSR and FSR. FSR is the only first upscaler we usually they usually test, but it's also implemented directly within SteamOS because it obviously is AMD's native upscaling technology. And currently the newest version of FSR available on the deck is FSR3, which does a decent job of making upscaling look good, but there are still some edges here and that are not too noticeable. That are too that are just too noticeable. FSR4 is currently available as well, but unfortunately unfortunately it was locked to GPUs that use RDN. A4 cores, which the deck doesn't have because the Steam Deck is RDNA 2 with an RDNA 2 GPU and an AMD Zen 2 CPU cores. Now, I asked Grok, can RDNA 2 devices like the Steam Deck take advantage of FSR 4? How does that compare to devices like the new Xbox ROG Ally X and Z2 Extreme with the Legion Go 2? And it goes without saying, obviously, because AMD's latest GPUs have actual machine learning cores and dedicated hardware um, to improve hardware acceleration and upscaling, um, you know, Steam Deck's RDNA 2 graphics are not going to support all the features of that, but there are official workarounds, and that's what we're talking about today. Community mods stemming from leaked AMD Fidelity FX SDK back in August allows forcing of integer 8-bit version and integer 8-bit version of FSR, FSR4 on RDNA2 Harbor via custom DLL files. So there is going to be a little bit of a learning curve and a bit of a process to get this working right and tools like OptiScaler. And this works on Windows and Linux with tweaks by emulating the machine learning model without native FP8 support. However, image quality, often superior to FSR 3.1 with better detail and less ghosting in supported DirectX 12 games. So it is superior image quality wise to FSR 3, but there will be a performance hit. So frame processing time can increase two to three times, for example, from 0.4 milliseconds to 1.2 milliseconds per frame in tests like Cyberpunk 2077 at 1440p, leading to five to 10% lower, lower FPS overall. So you are going to get slightly better um, performance than you know native with this F F um, FSR4 workaround. Um, it's still not going to be, you're not going to get as much performance as you would on FSR 3.1, which is designed for RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 graphics. There will be a performance hit. You're obviously going to get potentially stability issues as well. Ghosting and crashes that are more common on RDNA 2 than on RDNA 3, and it's unsupported by AMD officially, so use it at your own risk. It may, f <laughs> they say it may violate terms or cause driver conflicts, and it's limited to 85 DirectX 12 games with native FSR 3.1 integration Vulcan or non-standard titles won't work. Uh, and to get this working, you basically have to side, you have to install the mods and side load via desktop mode. Um, and they're not, as of right now, not viable in SteamOS game mode without heavy tinkering. And here's a little chart for you. Steam Deck, ROG Ally X, Legion Go 2. Basically, the Legion Go 2 and Ally X both use Z2 Extreme, RDNA 3.5. Um, so basically, FSR4 official support will not be coming to the Steam Deck, unfortunately. This is, these are mods do require workarounds. Um, so yeah, we're limited to 3.1. There will be more ghosting on the new Legion, on the new Legion Go and Xbox Ally X. It'll obviously be better and get better performance using this unofficial mod support. Um, 
with a 5 to 7% FPS hit. But back to the article at hand, but recently there was a leak of the FSR SDK included FSR4 files that work on older GPUs that use RDNA 2 and 3 cores, which include the Steam Deck. So we had to test that out and see how well it works. I also want to thank King Volps for bringing this to my attention in our Discord server. So basically, to get FSR4 in games on Steam Deck, you're going to have to install um, the Decky Loader plugin, which you will have to do through the, de the desktop mode, get it installed, and then you can access um, their Decky Frame Gen plugin, which you should be able to optimize and obviously plug in this new FSR mode into that, which makes, should make your life easier and allow you to access and control this via the game mode, which is what we all want, right? And the differences are actually pretty freaking substantial here, visually at least. So this is Hell Is Us. Um, they've basically showed off a comparison between FSR 3 Ultra Performance and FSR 4 Ultra Performance. So as you can see around the buildings here, they just look really, I don't know, soft and fuzzy, right? The definition and some of the branches are darn near invisible. If we move over to FSR 4 Ultra Performance, as you can see, you can see virtually every branch on the tree you'd even see some textures there on the sides of the tree and the house the windows if you look at the windows completely fuzzy and blurry on fsr3 ultra performance there's a lot of definition there on the windows in fsr4 and you can even see some of the shingles on the roof a lot better and you can see the pattern a lot better on the side of the house here again it just makes everything sharper it adds more definition there's still some fuzziness here and there but i mean this for me if you compare it is night and day better and we're getting 30 frames here and 30 frames on fsr3 as well again if you want to read the full article head over to steam deck hq link in the description let's take a look at spider-man spider-man remastered obviously we've got fsr3 ultra performance here okay doesn't look bad 90 frames a second um looking good i mean honestly this looks better than hell is us but there is some blurriness on the brickwork here and obviously the windows let's move over and check fsr4 okay okay spider-man himself look at that kind of fuzzy around there on his back a lot more definition and a lot clearer there difference isn't oh yeah look at the look at the civilians walking around at the bottom there he's just like a complete ghost <laughs> he's like some illusion artifact whereas on here you'd actually see their legs and their arms and you can see them walking a little bit there again the differences on this game aren't huge but they're still there's still a decent improvement but again it will look nicer fsr4 will look nicer but there will be a performance hit 90 frames on fsr3 69 on fsr4 ultra performance so you will get that extra bit of visual fidelity but there will be a performance hit um here we've got fsr3 ultra performance um for hogwarts legacy it does look pretty fuzzy but again on the steam deck screen it might the differences might not be as as a pirate and we look at fsr4 wow okay a lot more definition again not a huge dip in frame rate as you can see it's using a, a little bit more gpu a little bit more power wattage to get this looking like this but fsr3 fsr4 definitely an improvement so some games are going to be hit and miss guys kingdom come deliverance we're looking at 45 frames a second here on fsr3 performance and here's fsr4 honestly the differences here it again it lowers the fuzziness but the differences aren't as apparent and again on the steam Deck screen I mean, is it worth the 10, 12 frame per second dip in performance for marginally better visual fidelity? Cyberpunk 2077, FSR3 performance, FSR4. Again, you just see a lot more definition and everything, especially smaller objects and thinner objects. You can see even on the ground, you can see more debris and more more textures on the ground here when i compare the two you can really see the concrete cracks and everything a little bit more everything looks just a little bit less blurry 
The gun looks a little bit more sharp, which is nice. And again, yeah, the people in the distance are a little bit sharper. Um, slight performance hit here. But yeah, either way, let me know in the comments if this is something you're going to want to do. Obviously, you have to install Decky Loader. You have to get Decky Frame Gen installed, which is another plugin for Decky Loader. You've got to get FSR4 on that as well. That will involve messing around with the desktop settings. Um, got to replace DLLs files. Um, and yeah, you've got to let me know in the comments if you think the performance benefits is going to be worth it. Again, here's Steam Deck HQ's video where they show the comparison, the difference. Slight performance hit, but you do get better image quality. And again, hell is us. I think you're going to see the greatest difference. Spider Man does look pretty good as well. There is some shimmer in there in the background. Do we get that with FSR 3.1? No, we did not, but on FSR4 we did, and obviously there's some artifacting around the birds flying there in the distance. Um, Hogwarts, oh wait, here we go, let me see Spider-Man swinging around FSR4. There's going to be a little bit more ghosting, I think, as well on FSR4. There, there's some swinging around in FSR3. And FSR4. Kingdom Come Deliverance with... FSR 3. FSR 4. And here's control. Okay, I mean, that's a pretty substantial difference. So some games you'll see a, a more substantial difference. I mean, look, FSR 3 and control. Blurry, fuzzy a lot cleaner looking so yeah let me know if you're going to be installing this it will be a bit of a process will be a bit of a hassle but you know for those of you that are wanting a little bit more visual fidelity and have things look a little bit nicer this might be something you might want to do let me know in the comments anyways guys i'm blaze 2k like subscribe play the bell icon for more steam deck gaming news check out steam deck hq's article down below in the video description i'll see you in the next one take care check the links in the description for the best steam deck stuff and i'll see you in the next handheld gaming and steam deck video i also stream every day at 1 p.m central on the channel here and on twitch links down below peace out let's go